In this tutorial, I want to show you how to make this little adorable pumpkins that you can use in your autumn dioramas. Let's get started. To make this little pumpkin, I will use this super fine acrylic yarn, but you can use any yarn you want. Two millimeters crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle, polyester or cotton for stuffing and a little piece of stick or cork to make a tail. Let's get started. Start making a magic ring. And inside this magic ring we will make six single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We close this hole and insert your crochet hook in the first stitch. It will work like in every amigurumi, so here we start another row. We will make decreases in every stitch of previous round. So here I made one single crochet and in the same stitch I will make another one in the next one. One single crochet and another one. So here we have four. In the next one we will have five and six. In the next one seven eight. In the next one nine and 10 and in the last stitch of this round we'll make stitch number 11 at stitch number 12. Here we go. Next round we will make one increase so it will be stitch our number one and two and in the next stitch we will make just single crochet so stitch number three. Again one increase, four, five, and in the next one, just one single crochet, six, an increase, seven, eight, and in the next one, nine. And continue like this to have 18 stitches in this round. In the round number four, we will make an increase. So it will be the one, two, and in two next stitches, we'll make just single crochet. So in the next one, stitch number three of this round, and in the next one, another single crochet, stitch number four or this one. And again, one increase, so it will be stitch our five and six. In the next one stitch number seven and in the next one stitch number eight. Again an increase, nine, ten, single crochet in the next one, eleven and single crochet in the next one, twelve. So continue like this to have 24 stitches. We'll start round number five. So again we'll make an increase one, two, and in next three stitches just one single crochet. So three in the next one, four in the next one, and five in the next one. Again one increase, so stitch number six and seven of this round, eight in the next one, nine in the next one, and 10 in the next one. Again an increase, 11, 
12, 13 in the next one, 14 in the next one, and 15 in the next one. So continue like this to have 30 stitches. In the row number 6, we'll make an increase, 1, 2, and in four next stitches, just single crochet. So stitch number three in the next one, four in the next one, five in the next one, and six in the next one. Again an increase, so stitch number seven and eight in the same one, nine in the next one, ten in the next one, 11 in the next one and 12 in the next one. Continue like this to have 36 stitches. From this moment I will not increase anymore. I will just make 36 single crochet all over. If you want a bigger pumpkin obviously you can make more increases rows. One, Two, three, four, five, six. Continue like this to finish this row and later make four rows more of 36 single crochet. I'm after round number 11, so I made five rounds or of 36 single crochet. If you want your pumpkin a little bit bigger, you can just make more rows of single crochet. Now it's time to decrease. Start making four single crochet. One, two, three, four, and one decrease. Five. Again. Four single crochet, so it will be stitch number six, seven, eight, nine, and stitch number ten, it will be our decrease. Again. Four single crochet, stitch number eleven, twelve, thirteen, and 14, at stitch number 15, it will be a decrease. Continue like this to have 30 stitches. In this round, round number 13, we will make another decrease row. So again, we will start making single crochet, this time three. One, two, three. And stitch number four, it will be a decrease. Go stitch number five, six, and seven. It's single crochet, and next one, stitch number eight, is a decrease again. Three single crochet, so stitch number nine, ten, and eleven, and stitch number twelve. It will be our decrease. Continue like this to have 24 stitches. In next round we will make just two single crochet in the beginning. One, two, and our stitch number three will be a decrease. Three. Again, two single crochet, so stitch number four and five, and stitch number six it will be a decrease. Seven, eight, and nine, it will be a decrease. Continue like this to have 18 stitches. Now it's moment to stuff our pumpkin. So we'll just put, I have some polyester to put inside. You will not need a lot 
if your pumpkin is so small as mine. Okay. I will put a little bit more. Now we will continue decreasing, so in this row we will just make one single crochet and one decrease, one stitch number two it will be a decrease, stitch number three it's a single crochet and stitch number four it's a decrease, so one single crochet, one decrease to have 12 stitches. Now we will make just decreases all over, so we will have six decreases. One, two, three, four. five and six okay I will make a slip stitch here just because I like and now we will cut the yarn but we will leave quite a long piece of yarn I left all of this Okay, so just push the tail, now we will close our little ball using some yarn needle. So just Insert your needle in these loops. Okay. And now insert your needle in the center of the hole that you already closed and push it through all pumpkin okay to make like a little bit hole here you see now insert your needle not in the same hole obviously but a little bit on the side and again push it through whole pumpkin and take it out from the other side so we will form a nice pumpkin form make this like two times more okay And see it. One more in the center. And now put your yarn in the opposite side but from outside. You can see that I insert the needle from outside again to the center hole. Push it through and here we will make this shape. Okay, We are in the middle so now we will make exactly the same the opposite side. Okay. 
So like this we will form a nice pumpkin. Push. Okay. Now make exactly the same on this side. And on the opposite side. Okay. And now all these parts that we made, we will again divide on half like this. As you can see, it's very easy to make to get a nice pumpkin shape. It doesn't have to be super regular. As you can see, like this, we divide this little ball that we had on eight parts. And now we will just push our needle inside again and we will cut the yarn. I will hide my yarn somewhere here and following the same tutorial you can make any size you want just using a bigger crochet hook and a thicker yarn and the only thing that we should do is to stick with glue a little piece of wood of cork here in the center and now your little pumpkin is ready. Thank you for watching and see you next time.